Hi everybody, it's Dr. Dave Wonorowski, also known as Dr. Telomere, here to tell you about one of my favorite topics, telomeres. In this case, I'm going to talk to you about TA65, the telomerase activator that's commercially available. I'm going to talk to you about telomerase activation in general, and I'm going to talk to you about cancer. So first of all, when you read the internet and you hear about TA65 or, or telomerase activation in general, when you hear about the discussions about immortality or extended life and extended health span, there's always people saying, ooh, what about cancer? There might be a problem with cancer if you turn on telomerase. Where does this come from and what does it mean? First of all, it's a valid question, but it comes from a very different angle of the kind of telomerase activation we're talking about with a natural supplement like TA65. Okay? Where this comes from is, initially it was discovered that cancers, almost universally, actually about 85% of human cancers, turn on telomerase to make themselves immortal. They have to do this because most cancers have extremely short telomeres and they wouldn't be able to even survive because the telomere is so important in cellular survival. These uh, cells, cancer cells, would not be able to survive if they didn't have a way to elongate their telomeres. And they're also very rapidly dividing and every time they divide the telomere it gets shorter. So a rapidly dividing cancer cell would kill itself. It would just wipe out its own telomere if it didn't have telomerase turned on. Well, how does a cancer cell turn on telomerase? It turns it on by every possible means imaginable. Gene amplification, uh, mutation, uh, derepression, recombination, and there is something called an ALT me uh, mechanism of extending uh, tel telomeres where two telomeres combine and one loses and one gains and uh, the one that gains that cell survives. So there's many, many pathologic ways of turning on telomerase. Okay? TA65 does not turn on telomerase that way. TA65 uses the same method that is used in stem cells and germ cells, which you have in your body. You have immortal cell lines in your body, stem cells and germ cells. What TA65 does is it allows the gene for telomerase to be expressed at a reasonably low and safe level, in my opinion, and uh, it allows telomeres to grow, specifically the short telomeres to grow, and the short ones are the ones that are most important for determining the fate of cell. Cancer doesn't play by those rules. Cancer has a lot of different rules, and just because it turns on telomerase doesn't mean that telomerase turns on cancer. It's exactly the opposite. Cancer makes telomerase. Telomerase does not make cancer. If telomerase made cancer, then you'd have no germ cells and no stem cells, and we would not exist as a species. Now, what about studies? Well, there are cell culture studies using human cells and TA65 and other telomerase activators that do not show any statistical increase in cancer whatsoever. There is a cell culture, a human cell culture, I believe it's diploid fibroblast, that has been merrily replicating long past its limits with its telomerase turned on. Again, no statistical increase in cancer, just a line of immortal cells. Uh, we took, we meaning uh, TA scientists took, uh, so TA65 and did what are called xenografts onto mice. They took cancers, human cancers, grafted them onto mice and then gave them TA65 and there was no change in the behavior of the cancers with the TA65 or without the TA65. The human studies on TA65 have shown no increased cancer whatsoever and the mice studies on TA65 have shown no statistical increase in cancer either. So human cell cultures, xenografts, Mouse studies and the human study in rejuvenation research, September of 2010, no increases in cancer. I am personally convinced that TA65 does not in any way, shape, or form increase your risk of cancer. I'm convinced it doesn't take any hidden cancers and make them worse, and I'm convinced it doesn't accelerate cancer if you already have it. But these statements are not FDA approved, and it will remain for more and more scientific studies, uh, even though there are already scientific studies which I just cited. Uh, the scientific community will need thousands and thousands and thousands of studies before every single scientist is convinced. But I'm absolutely convinced. I take this myself. I've been taking it for over two years. My family takes it. A lot of my friends and loved ones take it. And here's another thing I want you to know. The Journal of the American Medical Association in December of 2010 published a study that showed that short telomeres increase the risk of cancer. Not only do they increase the risk of cancer four to five fold, they increase the risk of a nasty cancer, a deadly cancer, a morbid cancer, cancer that will almost guarantee kill you by that much. So short telomeres are bad, folks, and that's why I'm taking TA65. I don't want short telomeres. I want long telomeres. Trust me, so do you. 
I probably have an answer to cancer question for everybody. There will still be people who have different agendas and uh, will demand more and more studies. So you can sit on the fence as long as you like, but every minute you sit on the fence, you're getting older. That's not for me. Maybe it's for you, maybe it's not. If it's not for you, you really need to look into TA65, the only safe for human consumption telomerase activator available as of today.